Thank you, Master of the Ceremonies, fellow listeners of my story today. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful island, and it was ruled by a very wise king. This king was known for his love for the nature, for his love for the environment, and he had great interest in the great land. The king used to go to the ocean next to his castle every day in the morning to see the beautiful scenes of the sun coming out, the smell of the sand, the waves crushing the rocks, the seagulls, all these things used to make him happy. This king had a habit of walking on the beach every day for a while before he began his fighting. And one day, while he was walking along the shores, as he looked ahead, he saw a human figure moving like a dancer. Surprised, he smiled to himself to think of someone who would dance to the day. So he started walking faster to catch him and find out what the name was. As he reached closer, he found out that it wasn't someone else. It was an old man who was having countless holes on his chair and he was dancing. What he was doing, he was reaching down the shoes, picking up something, looking at it, and throwing it back to the ocean. Surprised the king, asked his man, You poor man, can you know what are you doing? Afraid this poor man looked at his majesty and said, King, I'm just throwing these starfishes into the ocean. Uh-huh. I think I should have asked you, why are you throwing these starfishes into the ocean? Afraid, he answered. Your Majesty, you see the sun is coming out and the waves are dying off. So to save them, I'm throwing them back to the ocean. This answer of an old man made the king laugh. He started laughing. <laughs> you old man, don't you think you are not making any difference to these starfishes. There are miles and miles of the beach, and there are countless of starfishes as you go along. And you threw one or two. It's not making any difference. The old man listened politely, and then he lay down once again, picked up another starfish. Smiled at it, looked at the king, and threw it past the dying babe. And then he said, Your Majesty, for that it made a difference. For the first time, ladies and gentlemen, the king was speechless. King had no answer to that old man's reply. The king was surprised. So the king turned around, went back to his castle, opened his window, and to start writing the couplets he used to write every day. As he wrote that day, the image of that old man haunted him. He couldn't write anything. And after some time, later that afternoon, his vision persisted. The king realized that what that old man was doing was not to be an observer in this world and let it pass by. This 
so bad. Try to be an actor and make a difference. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think the action of that old man teaches us? The action of that old man teaches us is that we all are blessed. We all are gifted with the talent to make a difference. We might not be able to change the whole world, but for someone, we can change all. So ladies and gentlemen, if like that old man, we all can realize what that gift that God has gifted us, trust me, we will make this world a perfect example. This is your challenge. This is my challenge. This is our challenge together to find out our start fish and to throw it back wisely. So one day, this world will be as the perfect place to live. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, vision without an action is merely a dream. An action without a mission will just pass the time. An action with vision can change the whole world.